A lot of world issues to tackle right now. You've got a crisis going on in Egypt, major friction between the United States and Russia. And then, of course, there's a big battle brewing once again over Obamacare in Washington. But the president says for the next two days, his focus is on education and specifically how to make college more affordable to the middle class families across the country. The White House says the cost of tuition has nearly tripled over the last 30 years. The average student now graduating with about $26,000 in student loan debt. And that is not counting the loans that their parents are taking out to help pay for college. Middle class families Families are absolutely saddled with making sacrifices, and the president says in more and more cases, the cost of college is preventing our brightest students from following their dreams. So let's take a look at a few of the points the president will lay out as part of his affordable college plan today. A college rating system so families can shop around online for schools in one spot so it's not too overwhelming. That will allow them to compare the cost, the value, and the financial aid opportunities out there. And he also wants to expand the education tax credits for the middle class. And he'll be talking about a pay-as-you-earn system on student loans. This is so young professionals are never paying more than 10% of what they make in a month on that loan. Now, of course, all of this needs congressional approval. We won't know if that will happen until they get back from their vacation in about two and a half weeks. But I can tell you, everyone in this room is counting on making that happen. I don't know if you can see the students behind me in these green t-shirts. The t-shirts say graduation, college, career. They say that is their goal over the next five years. Also, Elaine, I just met a woman in the bathroom who told me she's six months pregnant. She has no idea how she'll ever afford college for her son or daughter in 18 years. And she really hopes that the president is not only able to talk the talk today, but also walk the walk once he gets back to Washington. Elaine.